Dr. Haymart, how does socioeconomic status impact the diagnosis and treatment outcomes of thyroid cancer patients? And what strategies can be employed to mitigate these effects? So there's strong data that socioeconomic status does have an impact on diagnosis and treatment. And so we know that individuals' access to insurance makes a difference. Um, We know that patients can be at risk for different levels of financial hardship. So a fee of $5,000 means a lot of different things based on how much reserve individuals have. Um, And so we know that this is a a real issue. And then related to socioeconomic status, we also know that there can be differences based on education level as well. And so in order for patients to mitigate these differences, I think it's complicated. Like I think really there needs to be systemic changes. So it doesn't all rest on the patient. Um, But for patients, my activation tip would be um, one, ask the questions. And so If you feel that you're not getting the answers that you want, don't be afraid to get a second opinion. And my other activation tip for this question would be um, to make sure that you're seeing high volume physicians who see a lot of patients with thyroid cancer. This is for both the surgeons and the endocrinologist, because we know that outcomes are better when individuals see high volume physicians. And there's strong data for thyroid cancer and other cancers as well, that sometimes what's happening Um, is individuals who are lower socioeconomic status or um, a minority race or ethnicity are sometimes clustering at low volume hospitals. And so they may not be getting the best care because of where they're going. And so I think it's very important to advocate for yourself and don't be afraid, you know, to look around. Um, And if, you know, if the center that's closest to you isn't the best center for thyroid cancer, and if there's a better one that's 30 minutes away, and you're capable of getting there, you know, I would encourage you to go.